how regrettable by comparison is the sordid purpose and disposition of the army which stands in part before me now. ShireSociety.com Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. Armed Forces Recruiting Office in New Hampshire, 22 May 2019. Defense, security, deterrence. These are uh, all concepts of the greatest caliber. They are, in, uh, in fact, arguably uh, sacred processes. But when undertaken by a non-monopoly, <laughs> when undertaken by a monopoly as this institution is and underwritten by a tax office as it also is they are wont in practice to inflict near all the disadvantages and privations they purport to ameliorate in many cases they may even outdo to us and have outdone to us the lamentations administered by foreign foes. This building and the endless columns of uniformed, often uninformed, humanity which march behind it exist and maintain themselves on penalty of incarceration and the seizure of homes directed against those who would, in this sense, refuse to underwrite its horrors. I have stood myself inside one such dwelling, a credit to its adjacency, which has now been seized by the agents of this institution. If we recognize, as we should recognize, uh, that this is uh, an outpost of that federal government which claims dominion over the lives and wallets of New Hampshireites. Though in bulk, courageous of heart, robust of constitution, professional in demeanor, the servants of this fixture are not the less agents of an odious and prodigal endeavor, which, had it been prophesied by our recent ancestors, would have been disbelieved. Its predictors derided and dismissed from their alarmism. Yet here we stand, alarmed indeed, and no longer alone in our disquiet. The military citadels of these uneasily united states have become a brunt, now nine times greater in expenditure than those of its largest competitor, the Russian Commonwealth. How inverted uh, the scene has become since the glorious, if cruel, epochs of the last century, in which Americans first had no standing army of any notable size, and later faced, despite being dramatically outnumbered and outmissiled, a martial and fanatical Soviet state, triumph was their reward in each event over all who would aggrace, aggress against them on any significant scale. Triumph, counterintuitively fueled by a commerce inspiring, though relative, state of liberty and a relative limitation upon military adventurism. Triumph, crowned all importantly with the liberation of an appreciative and once subjugated humanity, numbering over two hundreds of millions. How regrettable by comparison is the sordid purpose and disposition of the army which stands in part before me now. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com.